so the class today is build your influence and income using or, or in your real estate business using social media and video okay so we are going to talk uh, a little bit about social media a little about a uh, uh, little bit about video and uh, if you guys have any questions I would be more than happy to answer them okay so uh, at first, it'll seem a little bit vague and so on, you know, but just follow along. We'll get to the good stuff towards the end of it. And then hopefully you guys have some questions where we can get like more hands-on and so on. Okay, I am going to be teaching a second part to this where I'm actually going to bring in some equipment so you guys can like see exactly how I do it, how it works and so on. So a little bit about me, just to, uh, uh, not to talk about me, but just to, you know, Validate that, you know, why I am speaking on video and social media. So, who's Steve? Full-time agent since October 2014. I started the Steve Talks Real Estate Show, which is a online video series. Uh, right when I got into real estate, all right, uh, I closed now over 160 transactions uh, uh, since then. And this year, I'm on pace. Sorry, this is old information, like I said. This year, I'm on pace to uh, close in about 70 deals, all right? So, and, okay, 70 deals only using social media and video, okay? So I don't spend on marketing. I actually don't run ads on none of my videos, you know? So over the course of the time, I've, I've been, uh, 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 I have been able to grow my real estate business using social media and uh, video, okay? So... The power of social media, okay? So, so I view social media in three aspects, okay? It's your influence, it's your impact, and it's your income, okay? So we are living in a time, okay, where it's estimated 80% of people, okay, that, that are looking to either buy a house or sell a house are first going to social media, okay? No one's going to the newspaper anymore, you speak to anybody under 40 years old, they look at their mail over a trash can, you know, they're saying, okay, all these ads, boom, 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 APS, boom, boom, my mortgage, and then everything else goes right to the trash, because nowadays, anybody who wants a coupon, they just go online and search for the coupon, and it's on there, no one needs any more extra trash in the cars. I used to be one of those orders, you know what I'm saying? Burger King coupons, two offers for 99 cents. All right. But anyway, okay, so so social media now, okay? Hey, I want you to think about social media, okay? Not as the place where our parents or our grandmas or our neighbors or our kids or whatever use it to show our naked bodies. No, okay? All right, I want you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Liz, I want you to view social media as a place where you can build your influence, okay? And building your influence, you're able to impact, okay? Everybody in this place is impacted by someone that has influence over you in whatever sphere, okay? So, so most of the times we listen to people that have influence over us. Okay, so influence, impact. Okay, if someone is able to have influence and impact, guess what automatically comes with that? Income. Okay, so anything sold happens the exact same way. Nike first influences, oh my gosh, that's cool. Then they have impact on us, and next you know, we're out buying some Nikes. Okay, the exact same, we have to be viewing social media the exact same way. Everything we do on social media, okay, our mindset has to be influence, impact, and social media. So social media allows us to build our influence. And I'll show you guys a little bit more about how that works, okay? But in this industry, okay, people are looking for real estate agents that influence them. People want to use real estate agents that have authority in the sphere. Why? Because authority brings about a competent person in whatever sphere they're in. So social media allows us to do that if we're able to use it properly, okay? So a lot of people, I remember, I remember back in the day, oh my gosh, I, I, I was actually a senior in college still, and, uh, uh, and I was 
I was uh, on Facebook back in 2008. And I remember a lot of my friends, oh, Facebook's dumb, it's a waste of time, and guess what, now everybody's on there, and a lot of them have bought off me, or sold off me from, from something they said was stupid. So guess what? Social media is not going anywhere. And as a real estate agent, it's very important we began to truly understand the business behind it. So, so it's no longer the place where college students are able to post their their pictures of their frat parties or their boat parties or whatever it is, but it's a place where we can grow our influence, grow our impact, and those two things are going to grow our income, okay? So social media allows us to influence, build our authority, and brand ourselves. It's funny because look at this. I recently had a baby. She's a beautiful seven-month-old. Okay, and then my wife hates it. I said, oh my gosh, you're using our baby just for your business. I'm like, hey, do you want to eat? Yes or no? She's like, don't say it like that. You know, I'm like, hey, look at this. I am using social media to grow my influence, grow my impact, and grow my branding. Okay, so it's influence. Authority is with impact. Remember this. You are impacted by anybody who has authority in whatever sphere they're in. Okay. So begin to think about social media every time you are going to post something, every time you are going to share something. Think about it. Is this going to influence my sphere? Is this going to have some sort of impact? And is this consistent with my branding? So I post a lot of things about my family because I'm branding myself as a family man. Am I making sense here, sort of? Is this good? Yeah? Yeah. You know, so turn your mindset from, oh, it's a dumb ad I'm going to post onto. Oh, Instagram's dumb. People post dumb stuff. Okay, well, you know what? You don't have to post dumb stuff. We don't got to post dumb stuff. We could be the ones who are growing our influence, growing our impact, and in turn, we hope it's going to grow our income like I've seen it in my own business. Okay. Woo! My goodness. I'm having fun. Who else is? Have yeah. you learned a lot so far? Yes. Oh, yeah. Awesome. If not, please lie to me just so you know I'm here doing something. All right, so look at this. Four principles to lasting success. Okay, so look at this. Okay, four things you have to keep in mind every time you are going to post on social media. Okay, so the first thing is this, okay? Bring value. Okay, so every time you are going to post something on social media, okay? Okay. Think about whether this is going to bring value to the person on the other end of the screen, whether it's your phone or a laptop, whatever it is. People will come back if whatever they are seeing brings them some type of value. One of the things that real estate agents suck at is marketing. And the reason why is this. It's always use me, use me, use me, sell, 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 sell. And in turn, our audience begins to slowly turn us off. And they begin to scroll past your post. And it doesn't matter how, uh, how amazing it is. If you've been doing it wrong for so long, guess what? Your audience is dead. Okay? Woo. Sorry if I'm being you know, like passionate about it. I'm passionate about this because I, I want everybody in this room to grasp this. Okay? It's very important that every post on social media, you're thinking, how is this going to bring them value? Okay, the second thing is consistency, okay? Consistency is the number one thing we fail at when it comes to social media, okay? So we post one thing and then no one ever hears from us until three months later. Well, three months later, they saw me already 30 times. And guess who's gonna get that phone call? Me, the one who's being consistent, okay? It's hilarious when real estate agents come up to me and say, hey, Steve, I did one video and I got nothing. <laughs> I'm like, God, how do I be nice to this person? <sighs> okay, hey, man, you know, look at this. Consistency, okay? I've done over 200 videos now. 200. Just this month in August, I'm going to post 
12 videos, okay? And why am I doing that? Because if I don't stay consistent, your audience begins to turn you off. Okay, I am gonna show you some examples about how I follow all these methods, okay? Number three is be you. You know, so, so, so you know, if you like to golf, you know, awesome, you know, post some things about golfing or whatever, you know? If you are dumb, like me about stuff, you know, I'm sometimes, you know, dumb on Instagram about stuff, you know what I'm saying? But it's very important that, that your audience, okay, connects with who you are as a person, okay? Nothing worse is when they reach out to you and all of a sudden you're in person, you're like shy, hi, hi, hi my, 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 you're like, oh my gosh, you're like so more outspoken on social media, why are you all weird now, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you're quiet on social media, you know, with your posts and so on, cool. That's probably how, how, how a person is in real life, and that's okay. And that is completely okay. Everybody here in this room will be able to reach a certain audience, and that's okay. That's how life is, okay? So it's very important to be you. And the last thing that's very important is we have to be patient, okay? Right now, uh, uh, I am helping out a agent with his his video marketing and so on, you know, and then the other day, he's like, hey, Steve, man, ah, I posted three videos and, and, you know, I'm not seeing much response. I'm like, <clears throat> how many videos? He's like, three. I'm like, God, how do I be nice to this, 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 this agent? You know what I'm saying? We have to be patient, patient when using social media. Unfortunately, we are in, in a society and in an industry where everybody likes the shiny object. You know, buy this and you'll sell 100 houses a year. Ain't gonna happen. As a matter of fact, before you buy that, just let me have your money. You'll get the same results. You know what I'm saying? So in this industry, okay, if you truly want to use social media, in your real estate business, and if you want to begin to use video, it's very important you understand that patience, you have to do it for the long term. You have to think building a business. One of the things that hinders real estate agents when it comes to using social media and video in your real estate business is, uh, uh, is that the average agent thinks about the next paycheck. And I get it. I understand it. You know what I'm saying? We all have to eat. You know, we all have a mortgage to pay or rent to pay and so on, but it's very, it's very important, okay? If you want to use social media in your real estate business and, and or video, it's very important you think about it long term. Remember, remember, you're here to build a business, not hunt for your next paycheck. Building a business, you'll still be here in 15 years. Going after the next paycheck when the market slows down in the near future, you're not existing anymore. Unfortunately, that's, that's just the way how it is, but I want to encourage you today, you know, you gotta think long-term when it comes to this. All right. All right. So, uh, let me, yeah. Okay. So, look at this. Okay. Let me talk about this here for a second. Okay. So, so some examples of giving value on social media versus just promoting yourself. And if you want all these slides, I can email them to you. No issues. If you have any questions and so on, any more like detailed stuff and so on, ask me. I'm an open book today. Okay. But, okay. So, so look at this. Okay. Look at this. So I do a lot of videos, a ton of videos. As a matter of fact, video is my number one source of business in this industry, okay? So I give a lot of information away, okay? The internet has changed the way we do our business as real estate agents, okay? Almost every buyer I sit with comes to me with a list of houses they already wanna see. I'm like, 
amazing. You know what I'm saying? I don't even got to set you up on a portal anymore. Let's go see these houses right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, so, so as real estate agents, okay, we have to make sure we are showing ourselves valuable still because technically people can actually buy a house without a real estate agent, you know, but we are the ones that have to show, hey, why do you have to be using us, okay? So some of the ways I use social media is by giving information away, okay? Since the creation of the internet, okay, no longer do us realtors have every piece of information anymore, okay? Nowadays, the person who has every piece of information is called Google. So, for, for most people, it's easier to ask Google than asking a human being because they, they are guaranteed that Google will never give them an attitude or delay a response. <laughs> they just go on to Google, type their question in, bada bing, bada boom. When I started using social media and video, strategically in my business, okay, I said to myself, I have to become the Google before people go to Google. If they come to me first, they'll stay with me, I, I thought, you know? So instead of promoting myself, hey guys, I'm an agent, hey guys, I'm an agent, look at this. If you are giving them information, duh, they're gonna know what you do already. But people, turn you off whenever you just promote yourself, you know? Look at my listing. Come to my open house. I'm the best. I can show you houses. Well, guess what? So can open door without a dumb agent anymore. Okay, look at this. Give me information away. They either hear it from you or they hear it from Google or they hear it from me putting out every piece of information they need. So look, here are some examples of things I talk about. You know, three, three must do's during your house, during your house hunt to get the house you want. It's like, wow, what are they? Well, I don't know, make them up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're, Where do you get your um, titles from? Your ideas? I make them up from questions that are asked to me. So, for example, okay, this one here. I started noticing, my gosh, my buyers were losing out. Someone asked me, Steve, how can we win next time? I'm gonna shoot. You know what? I'm gonna talk about that on my next video. So, three must do's during your house hunt to get the house you want. Well, Steve, what are they? All right, uh, all right, number one, make sure your offer is aggressive when you come in. Well, what does that mean? Well, if there are multiple offers, Pay your own closing costs. Uh, if, uh, 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 if the seller wants to close in three weeks, well, find a lender who can close your loan in three weeks. If, uh, 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 I don't know what, uh, what else I made up in that video. Uh, what do you think about it? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, I said this too. Okay, if you are in your house hunting process and you see a house on the market new listing on Monday you do not text your real estate agent can I see this house on Saturday <laughs> you text your real estate agent on free during lunch time can we schedule this that's how you win the house when the market's crazy right you know on this one okay four things you need to get the mortgage you want what are they well you need a job <laughs> two years you know a good score what's a good score well you know 620 you know you want to go 580 be prepared for the interest rates you know you got to have you know like this that whatever you can make up four new things I have I have done four different videos on four things you need to get the mortgage you want because there are a bunch of things you could keep going. One of the things agents say, oh my gosh, Steve, how do you come up with so much content? Well, the thing is you have to put the work into thinking strategically into what you're gonna talk about. So right here, 
I could do this video all over again and just name it differently and talk about three new things or talk about two new things. Let's say two things you have to do to get the house you want in a hot market. Whoa, shoot, a hot market. You know, and, and, and there's always way, but here's the biggest thing you have to keep in mind. Okay, if every one of your posts on social media is a flyer, you're losing. You're done. People are gonna shut you off. If anybody has a kid here in high school, they will never like your post. Because it's always selling, 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 selling. Me, I'm an agent. But right here, people don't feel threatened. Wow, what can I learn? I have so many people reach out to me and say, hey Steve, I'm not in the process of buying a house, but I love watching your videos. Guess what? Whenever they get in the process of buying a house, guess who they're gonna call? Whenever they wanna sell a house, guess, guess who they are gonna call? The person that has been giving them information. Do you post this to a business page? Is it called a personal page? Everywhere. 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 Business page, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, IG, TV, you name it. On Snapchat, I promote it. Hey guys, I got a new video on my YouTube channel and on Facebook. It's about this. Go look at it. Everywhere. Okay? We'll talk about that. I think there's a slide. If not, I don't know. But anyway, so so uh, 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 I forgot which one was this one. Look at this, 450 minutes viewed in seven days. Minutes, that's a lot of views. 450 minutes in a week, you know, but anyway. So, so okay, okay, so this comes when you give versus promoting. So think about it right now. What have my social media posts been? And if your social media posts have only been, there's a new down payment assistance program out there. There's a new listing out there. Well, guess what? People are gonna eventually shut you off. You know why? Because if they were looking for a listing, they'll just go to Zillow. They won't come to us. But if you are consistently, okay, giving them value, giving them information, okay, they'll keep watching, maybe in silent, don't watch. I had someone reach out to me, an old friend of mine in high school. Hey, Steve, I've been watching your stuff. Awesome. I'm like, oh my gosh, you never like anything. Why not? You know, if you watch it, you know, hit like on it at least. You know, they don't, but it's crazy. So many people secretly watch you, and when they're ready, hey, Steve, it's crazy. But they continue to watch because, you know, <clears throat> I just keep on giving and giving and giving value. To them. So think about your your current social media strategy and what shift you might have to do in what you are posting from here on out. If you're only doing promotional stuff, people are going to shut you off. But if you are able to give them value, give them information, give them the tools they actually need, they'll keep watching it. Is that good or no? Yeah. Sort of, kind of? You guys are quiet on me. My gosh, I'm like perspirating here already. <laughs> Steve told me to be quiet because I'm like, dude, do not be quiet. All right. All right. Okay, so look at this. I am going to talk about the principles of consistency real quick, okay? So, uh, all right. So look at this. One of the reasons why, why agents fail in social media and especially doing video is because they have no systems in place. And by systems, I, I am talking about having a plan into place where you're not thinking about what you have to do, you already automatically know what you have to do. So most people that are gonna do a social media post are like, mm, what do I say? Mm, and they'll spend two hours on a dumb Facebook post. I write it out, erase. Write it out, no, that's dumb, erase it. You know why? Because there's no system. And then they'll post it and in two weeks, I'll post another one. It's been two weeks. If you have a system, guess what? Whether you like it or not, whether you're sick or not, whether you feel like it or not, 
okay? Your system allows you to stay in place with your consistency. So some of the things I do is this. This sounds a little bit crazy and so on, okay? But when it comes to my videos, I plan all of my videos for the month, the last week of the previous month. So at the end of July, I took one whole morning, I took four hours, and I planned out everything I was gonna do on Instagram and on Facebook when it came to my real estate social media marketing stuff. Well, that's smart. Yeah. And then, reason why is this, again, okay? Because most agents that wake up, I'm gonna do a video today. Guess what? It's gonna be poorly done, they're gonna waste half of their day, if not the whole day, thinking about what they should be talking about. And then they'll film or write up a post and then hate it and not do nothing at all, wasted a whole day simply because they didn't have a system in place that allowed them to plan ahead of time so that when that day come, they knew how to rock and roll and do it. Okay, so having systems, okay, so an example of one of my systems, okay? When I film, okay, I I make sure that the night before I have everything in place, okay? I got my camera in place, I got batteries in place, I got microphone in place. If I'm filming more than one video, I got my shirts in place, okay? So that in the morning, I'm not, I'm not mm, Now, 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 let me tell you this. I wasn't a systems guy, okay? My wife says, oh my gosh, Steve, you're like the wind. You just go wherever. Honestly, that's my personality, you know? I'm just like, all right, you know, we'll see how it goes. You know, if, if my plans fail, awesome. Let's go with the new plans. That's just how I roll, you know? So I knew that if I wanted to stay consistent, I needed to get systematic. So. So every Monday night, I got my clothes ready, I got my camera ready, I know exactly what I'm gonna film about the next day, so that on Tuesday morning from 8 a.m. until noon, all I do is film. On Tuesday mornings, no one is allowed to call me, to text me, I won't <laughs> respond to anybody but my wife, Tuesday mornings. So I got, I got it all, all lined out. You know, but I do that because if I don't have that system in place, I'm not gonna be consistent, okay? So this also, you know, so I guess these two, they go hand in hand, you know? So I highly encourage you, if you are gonna do video, you know, plan stuff out, okay? If you wanna wing it and just wake up and, you know, all right, I'm gonna do a video today. All right, what should I do it about, you know? And then, I mean, you'll just waste your time you'll get stressed, you'll get frustrated and so on and end up not doing jack squat, okay? And the last thing is obviously do the work, okay? You gotta commit to actually doing it, okay? Okay, man, I'ma briefly talk about this right here, okay? So obstacles of consistency, self-doubt. Oh my gosh, that's a dumb subject. Oh my gosh, no one's gonna read this. No one's gonna watch this. Trust me, I deal with this even now every single time. I'm gonna film or write a social media post. I'm always, oh my gosh, this is dumb. This is so dumb. You know, but I've learned how to overcome that. I'm like, this is so dumb. Hold on, I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, reason why is this. Remember, we ourselves are our worst critics. You know, sometimes I'm like watching, watching a, a, uh, a, a video I film. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing so much hair gel. I look stupid. Like, honestly, I'm like, oh my you know, oh well, it's out there on social media world, I can't do anything about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep on going with my life. Okay, self-doubt. Everybody in this room will doubt every single social media post. Every single buddy in this room will doubt every video they want to do, you know? The second thing is the opinions of others. My gosh, you have no idea how many times I thought about, oh my gosh, what is my... Brother gonna think about that video I did, you know, what's my friend gonna think about this, what's my, th I mean, look at this. Opinions of others literally kills our consistency because we end up messing with all of those thoughts in our heads and end up not doing anything. And the last thing is 
laziness. And I say this because as real estate agents, we waste a lot of time. We waste so much time trying to find a shiny object. I told myself, you know what, look at this. When I got into real estate, I had no money, I was broke, and I uh, stutter. So I couldn't do phone calls. I'm all, look at this. If I hop on the phone, my gosh, it ain't gonna go down good. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, you, you know, once someone on the other end says hi to me, I like freeze up and I start stuttering. I'm like, shoot, I'm doomed. I gotta do something. I said to myself, you know. So I wasn't big on open houses. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have no sign. You know what do I do? It's hot out here. It was, it was, uh, you know. Uh, I just had a million excuses. So I told myself, you know what? I'm gonna do video. I can stutter, but I can stop and I can edit it. You know, so, so I, I stuck with it though, okay? My first video didn't give me anything. My second video didn't give me anything. People were watching. My third video didn't give me anything. Now you're gonna clap your hands. Okay, eventually, you know, my phone started ringing, my email started going, my Facebook, Facebook Messenger started going, and now, you know, I've been able to build a business and give my family a lifestyle that's very different from when I was growing up, okay? So, 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 so self-doubt, opinions of others, and laziness, okay? Real quick, be you, be authentic, okay? So, how I am now, that's how my videos are. When you watch them, that's who you get. Whenever I show up to a, to a listing appointment, they almost always say, oh my gosh, you are exactly how you are in your videos. I'm like, well, that's a good thing. I like being me. You know, loud and like, you know, bah, bah, it's just, you know, that's just, you know, okay. Okay, look at this. Videos, okay, you have to act a little bit. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? So, to keep people, look at this, people, people are looking for three things whenever they, they watch a video or read a post, okay? And I say read a post because social media is far more than just video, okay? Even though video is my biggest strength, you know, I post a lot of pictures and so on, okay? But, but, uh, 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 but why I have on here, act a little bit, because of this, this, people look for three things whenever they read something or watch something, okay? Number one, Okay? They want to be entertained a bit. Okay? That, okay? The videos that go viral on social media usually are entertaining. You know? Someone slips and falls on a pool and oh, and then whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then it goes viral. Or, or you have the, the, uh, 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 the, um, what's that? The Star Wars, um, yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, you have the lady who had the Chewbacca mask. You know what I'm saying? It was entertaining, and then it went viral, and yada, yada. Okay, so people want to be a little bit entertained whenever you are doing a video, okay? So some of the ways I do that in my videos is that I change a lot where I film. Sometimes I'm in the office, sometimes I'm outside. I'm like, hey, guys, I'm outside, and I'm sweating my butt off. But I want to talk about, and then I talk about whatever I'm going to talk about. You know what I'm saying? But like... People want to be a little bit entertained. Is it, is it work? Absolutely. Is it annoying? For me, sometimes I'm like, gosh, I have to drive all the way over there. Of course it is. But I have to understand, I got to stay consistent. This is my pillar, and it's paying really well until right now. Okay, so, okay, so your videos, okay, they have to be in some way, shape, or form a little bit of entertainment. You know what I'm saying? You might be funny, do something dumb, feel mad. Uh, uh, film at the offices here, and then you're at you know a house outside, at a park in a neighborhood, at a listing, whatever, and so on. You know. Secondly, is this? Look at this. In every post and or uh, 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 and or and or video, people want to leave with some type of value. You know, hey, I got something out of this. For example, funny videos, people leave laughing. They, their mood shifts, you know? 
or if you're watching something where you're learning something, you know, you're like, awesome, I didn't know that. And people leave content that they left better than what they were prior to watching your video. So entertain a little bit, give them something they could walk away with, okay? And lastly, you gotta have fun doing it, all right? Now, I know so many agents that like freeze up and like make it all like, oh my gosh, this is so hard, I hate this. No, you know what, look at this. We're all funny looking in front of the camera. All of us are. It's a given, all right? Whether you think it or your neighbor think it, I'ma think it. So there you go, you're free from that, okay? Everybody is gonna look all dumb and dur -dur 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 and who knows what else, you know what I'm saying? But we gotta learn to have fun with whatever we're doing. Fun with our post, fun with the videos and so on. Remember, influence, impact, income, okay? If your posts aren't influencing in some way, shape, or form, they're not having any impact. And if you don't have any impact, it's gonna be very hard for your income to grow using social media. Is this good or no, yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. Do you do a lot of Facebook Live or do you like to do where you can like edit it, add the, add the uh, text? Uh, I'll do Facebook Live like once a month, you know? Mostly it's stuff where it's edited, you know? That also helps me, uh, helps me uh, to uh, plan better, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, so. All right, so you must patience, you know, action while you wait, okay? So, so many people have the misconception that patience is, you gotta wait and do nothing. No, patience in social media and your video branding and your business is you keep doing stuff while you patiently wait for the influence and the impact to come, okay? This ain't the microwave meal being served here. This is like the Italian who cooks a pasta for five hours to make sure it's like the world's best cuisine. You know what I'm saying? This isn't uh, 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 ramen here, you know? So many agents want stuff today, and I understand we wanna eat today. You know what I'm saying? But if you are growing your business, you gotta make sure that you're in this for the long haul, okay? Well, I said there, success is never overnight. Right. Let me see. All right, think outside the box, okay? Real estate is multifaceted. Is that how you say that word? I don't know, but anyway, okay. So get creative, all right? So I don't only talk about real estate. I talk about money. I talk about saving for a down payment. For example, one of, one of the best videos I, I ever did was, was three tips to save for a down payment. Right now, what are the three tips? I forgot them, but I made them up. You know what I'm saying? There are a hundred different ways someone can save up for a down payment, you know? You, you, number one, don't eat out. You know, for six months, sacrifice, you know, the, the a thousand bucks you spend on eating out and so on and save them up for a down payment, you know, whatever. Number two, sow stuff around the house, you know, and you know, you just, you just, you know, Make them up. I forgot what I said in that video when I made it, but it was really good because a lot of people saw it. It was so good, I forgot what it was. That's how good it was, but honestly, it was good. But here's my thing, okay? So many people in real estate are so stuck that everything has to be real estate related. The reality, everything's real estate related. I've done a video about plants outside the house. It's like, it's like what does that have to do with real estate? Everything. People are seeing I'm a realtor. People are seeing the house behind me. You know, I am talking about, uh, 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 I, uh, 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 in that video, I, I, I spoke about how, how uh, uh, curb appeal helps sell your house. It's crazy how we're like, oh, what, flowers? Yeah. You know, there's so many videos and blog posts and stuff we can actually talk about when it comes to real estate. You will never run out of information. And if there's a certain month where you think you have nothing to say, go back to your first month and redo all that, redo it in a different way. No one's going to remember, you already spoke about that. I've redone so much stuff in a different way. 
You have no idea. No idea. They're, oh my gosh, Steve continually makes, you know, so much. And I'm like, I continually trick you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So get creative. Talk about, you know, a bunch of stuff. Talk about, you know, three things you can do to make moving easier. You know, number one, boxes. I'm making this up right now, but I mean, you know, that's, 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 you know, moving is real estate related, you know what I'm saying? You know, three ways to keep your mother-in-law out of the mother-in-law suite. I'm kidding on that one, I'm kidding. Mother-in-law, brothers, <laughs> I love you, okay? But anyway, you get what I mean by, by think outside the box. There's so much, you'll never run out of stuff to talk about, okay? So, okay, one of the things I talk a lot about and it gets a little bit harder for agents is excellence, you know? Invest in your business with the correct gear, okay? So, some of y'all are thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta spend thousands. No, okay, you could actually use your phone, but get a good phone. Get the iPhone X if you're gonna use your phone. Don't use a dumb old phone you've had from 2008, like an iPhone 4, and think that, you know, the quality is gonna be good. It's not. The only person who thinks that quality good is someone who's almost blind. All right, but nowadays, no one's gonna pay attention to that kind of stuff, you know? Invest in a microphone for your cell phone. They have those out there. Go to Amazon and type microphone for my phone or like, you know, whatever phone you have and so on. Buy a little stand, you know? Invest into this. Practice a few times, you know? I look back and look at the first stuff I did and I'm like, oh my <laughs> God, I can't believe people actually watched it. I mean, it's like, it's like, oh my gosh. And what I said, wow, that was like so dumb, you know what I mean? But, but, you know, I, I invested into getting better. I, I invested into getting the right stuff, you know, a laptop. So I use iMovie to edit. It's very easy. There are videos up on YouTube. I have some videos I can send to you guys to learn how to edit and like make your stuff look a little bit nicer and better, okay? Remember, it doesn't have to look like you are spending 40 grand on, on, on a video for people to pay attention. Overall, your content is going to, to outweigh your quality, but over time, I hope you would focus also on your quality so that your excellence also matches the content you are providing people. All right, so, oh, look at this, to your question right here, okay? Pre-recorded versus live, okay? Balance, you know? So I find my balance is, for me, my systems work better when I plan things ahead, you know? So I like to plan when I'm gonna film, and in that list though, I plan when I'll go live as well. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, balance is key, whatever works for you. Do I go live? Should I, should, uh, 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 do I re record everything? For most agents, I would highly recommend you pre-record everything. It gives you more control of when you can post and what you can post, and you can edit probably a little bit better, okay? The editing software I recommend for beginners is iMovie, okay? If you want a, a, a uh, what do they call it? Uh, um, uh, a tutorial on iMovie, email me and I got you on that one, okay? Okay, so at the end of the day, like I said before, content is key. What are you providing your audience, okay? All right, let's be friends, social medias, go ahead and add me, you know, you're on YouTube, Instagram, and so on. All right, so I want to leave some time for some questions and so on anybody might have when it comes to video. Um, you've done several videos, and I'm sure you, you see uh, your more popular videos. Um, the length of time that you're shooting, or the length of time the video is, does, is there a sweet spot? Like if you run a, a 10 or 15 minute video, a lot for a lot of people that's just way too long. Do you find that more of your successful videos are two to three minutes? Yes, yes, my sweet spot uh, is from Two minutes to
to about four minutes, okay? When it's really good, I'll go five, six, but it has to be good content, okay? So, so from, from my experience, and this is doing a lot of video, okay? My most watched videos always have to do with getting pre-qualified. And the reason why, that's the biggest issue as to why people can't get into homes. So whenever I, I talk about uh, like down payments, whenever I talk about credit scores, my gosh, you know, people watch those, people share them, people, you know, I mean, people love that kind of stuff because that's the number one reason why people can't get into homes. My least viewed ones are actually the videos where I talk about selling your house. It's crazy, you know? So, so more people watch the buyer end of stuff than they do the selling end of stuff. And the reason why is the buyer end is always, is, uh, uh, is always the most uh, complex. Another thing about that though, okay, it's very important we never talk in absolutes when it comes to talking about those things, okay? So I never say, you need a 620, okay? Because technically, you can get a mortgage with a score under 620. So I'll say things. I, I will say things like a 620. 20 credit score will make it so much more easier for you to qualify for a home loan. Now there are loans out there that will loan out with the 580, but it's very important you talk with your lender as to what that entails. Oftentimes, I don't say always, oftentimes they come with a higher interest rate and so challenging to qualify for. You know, so I will never talk in absolutes, but in generalities. Make sense? Okay, but in general, that right there brings someone so much rather, oh my gosh, wow, whoa, hold on. So I, with the 620, it'll be smooth? Yeah, it will be smooth, you know? So talk in generalities versus absolutes about stuff. Yeah, good? <laughs> All right, anybody else have any questions? Come on. How'd you make your intro? Great question. Okay. Intros yeah. Else. Awesome question. Okay. So, so my intro is a little bit more high tech than most of the intros, you know. Okay. So, I actually have a editing background. Okay. Prior to doing real estate, I actually used to do some editing for a friend of mine who was doing video a lot, you know. So, I just uh, 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 I learned on YouTube you know, how to do most of the stuff I actually do now, you know? And so, so, but I would recommend this, okay, look at this. I would recommend, okay, if, if you don't have the resources for a grandiose intro, you know, just go to fiverr.com and ask them, okay, to send you what's called a bumper. So a bumper is just a mini intro. So you could literally send them whatever uh, 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 logo you have, and for five bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks at the max, they will literally make you your little intro for you. And, and it's worked great for a lot of agents I've helped out with. I'm like, guys, guys, don't worry on the stupid intro. I know an agent who paid a lot of money for a good intro. And to be honest with you, my intro is now only six seconds and it, it was longer, but honestly, no one cares about me flashing around in a stupid suit. They wanna get to the content. It's like, dude, stop it with your fancy intro. Tell us what, 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 what we're here for. You know, so mine's only six seconds. A bumper is only four seconds. At the very most, six seconds. You know, it's like, you know, some flashy, boom, you know, Steve, real estate or like whatever. And then you start, you know, and so, 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 so I would actually, if you truly want to do video, you know, I would actually invest in one of those little intros. It'll change everything when it comes to doing video. So, fiverr.com, F-I-B-R-R 
bumpercars.com and then search for a bumper. And then, you know, I think that's, that's, that's right now your best route, okay? Because the last thing you wanna do is pay for, for something fancy and then you're not consistent with your video. If you wanna pay something fancy, do 50 videos and say, all right, you know what? I got my, uh, 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 the hang of this, I'm gonna invest a little more and step my game up. But right now, just a little bumper that looks, you know, nice and cute and fancy, and that's all you need. Are you still doing all of your videos yourself with an iPhone, or? No, so, I started like that, you know what I'm saying? But now, I have invested so much more. And so now, I have probably about, like, like literally, I was broke with no gear. And now I have about 17,000 in gear. So I have like, bought like, yeah, camera stuff and all these bunch of stuff. But I mean, that's after, after, you know, closing out some deals. And, and you're still doing it yourself and editing it yourself. You're not. I worried. was, I was up until March of this year. And then I hired, uh, my niece. And so now she's helping me out with that. Yeah. So I sat with her though. I'm like, hey, is that going to be really, you know, she, she already was like kind of doing it on her own, you know, for like funny and so on. So I sat with her, hey, look at this. This is what I want, you know. So now she's with me on the team. But at first, I mean, for for the first like how I feel I mean, I mean, honestly, it was just me getting home after showing houses, working and so on, and then you know, I'm like, shoot, this is my bread and butter. And I would sleep at you know midnight, one, and be up again next morning at five, six, and let's go, you know. Yes, this is your iPhone. Uh, lenses, light angle, fisheye, and a case. Do you have any recommendations? Wide angle. Wide angle uh, lens on it. about momentum, and there are those are awesome brands. Huh? A couple of other brands. Yeah. Brand names. Yeah. Brand names. I don't know too there much. Some, uh, sorry for interrupting you. There are some with clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clip, yeah. Or let's say with a case, you buy it. Yep. Case and then just. Adapted. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, honestly, whatever works. Honestly, you know, I, I, I have no no like preference. You know, but uh, 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 people always ask me, "Hey, Steve, should I buy Sony or Canon or Nikon?" I'm like, "Dude, just pick one. Just do it." You know, same thing with lenses. Just buy any lens and just do it. You know, they have awesome, awesome. Uh, 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 I wouldn't buy fisheye. I would buy wide angle lens put it in front of you so you get more of your scene. Fisheye will make you look uh, a little bit weird because it's oval, mm -hmm. you know, so go wide angle lens on your phone, be money. Awesome. Anything else? Anybody have any questions about, you know, when I pose, how I pose, what I do, uh, like a... Uh, yeah, awesome question. So I usually like to post on Tuesday mornings. This is Facebook only. Tuesday mornings and on Thursday mornings. I love those mornings. I don't know why they have personally performed the best for me. I always feel Monday people are back at work and it's just like, you know, hate life right now and they hate things on Facebook. I think on Tuesday people are like, all right, cool, you know. Back into the rhythm, you know. People watch stuff, uh, you know, more so on. Personally, my best response has been posting at 7 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, when it comes to videos and pictures on Facebook, Instagram, I like posting every morning about 8 a.m. You know, and, and and so so you know that's kind of YouTube. On YouTube, it doesn't matter when you post. So something about YouTube, okay? So. So I use I use YouTube not only really to to uh, 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 to to um, uh, lead generate like I do on Facebook. I use YouTube as more of a library of videos. So check this out. True story. All right. Last month I went to a buyer appointment at a house out in Goodyear. Okay. So. Uh, um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a, uh, um, 
leaving the house, okay, and the house on the corner had a sign right in front that said, for sale by owner, okay? So I was there at a stop sign and, okay, honest to God, God is my witness, I had, I had absolutely never called on a for sale by owner, ever in my life. I figured, hey, you know what? I'm here at Southside. I'm a, I am going to shoot him a text that the the uh, 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 the uh, number on there, you know. So and then so so I say, hey, my name is Steve Penate. I am a real estate agent. You probably are bombed with phone calls. I won't bug you, but if you want to to list your house, here's my name. And here's my YouTube channel. And I sent them the link. One hour later, I was on the phone with them. Two weeks later, I signed the listing. 